Revamping the program of advancement through health and education path was a major priority for the Ministry of Labor and Social Security in 2023. The reforms will include increased support for school attendance, access to quality educational resources, and vocational training, all geared towards breaking the cycle of poverty through knowledge and skill development. Two technical working groups announced by the minister in September started reviewing the selection criteria and benefits as well as the general rules of the PATH program. We have seen, I'd say, estimate $4.9 billion expended up to October in PATH benefits. Um, and of that amount, more than $371 million was spent for back to school support. Um, and that impacted about 106,048 students. Under the Steps to Work program, over 450 people from PATH households got entrepreneurship grants totaling over $73 million. In June 2023, minimum wage earners got a 44% increase, the largest in the past 20 years. The minimum wage moved from $9,000 to $13,000 for a 40-hour work week. Also in June, pensioners under the National Insurance Scheme started receiving increased benefits. We are very pleased to report that our NIS pensioners began receiving their increases on June 15th. The pension rate increases are applicable to retirement pension benefits to the invalid invalidity and the widows and widows' pensions. The government also amplified its mission to increase the number of beneficiaries under the social pension program. More than 14,500 senior citizens over 75 years old were registered. 2023 also witnessed the phased implementation of a revised national policy for senior citizens. To see the launch of this Disability Accessible Checklist truly is an achievement for us. It does not only address the physical environment, but it also addresses how we place information and how we, get, we, we communicate to ensure that all the different persons with disabilities have that access that they require. The launch of the Accessibility Checklist is not just an event. It is a beacon illuminating our journey towards a more inclusive society and the Jamaica that we all want. Over 3,000 children from zero to six years with development disabilities received assistance through the Early Stimulation Program. In addition, we see where the Canadian Local Funds Initiative approved a grant of more than 24,000 Canadian dollars to expand the strategic engagement of rural women with disabilities in sustainable farming techniques. The Disabilities Rights Tribunal also became operational with the May 2023 announcement that Dr. Emil Lieber was chairman. In 2023, the Farm Work Program received special attention from the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Over 8,500 workers were dispatched throughout the year. Minister Colonel Charles Jr. and his team visited several farms in the United States and Canada to examine the conditions under which workers are employed while taking steps to safeguard their well-being. Talks began on how to make the program more inclusive. We have already started to have conversation, positive conversation, with some of the employers in Canada, uh, some who are open to the prospect of inviting and welcoming persons with disabilities who still have the capability um, and, the, and the right attitude for them to get an opportunity to engage in a program like the Farm Work Program. Any youngsters out here are willing to go on the farm on this program, I will say yes, give it a try. It's definitely not bad. It's just you have to go and make some use of it. Another notable achievement in February the Jamaica Productivity Centre attained LEED Auditor Certification. This supports now the overall 
um, ISO certification for the Jamaica Productivity Center, which means that they are more well equipped to support within the ministry and outside of the ministry the quality management assessments that need to be done to ensure what? That we have the highest, most efficient productivity. Speaking of efficiency, plans were far advanced to roll out a web-based work permit system. The Ministry of Labour and Social Security in 2023, transforming lives by delivering world-class labour and social protection services. Mm -hmm.